Well then, what about that review? That viaduct there is, I'll be going across that shortly. Well, hopefully. Depends what uh, they're putting my way. Some lovely sands and a bit of rock formation down there. A few scars coming around the corner there. And then we pan around this way. Little fishing village. I'm actually on the railway track at the minute and uh, we're just uh, going around the coast again using the railway track. I don't know whether it's a wise idea, I'm a bit short on time to be honest, but we'll keep on pushing on. Doing it this way is a tad slower, but we'll get there. So that's, uh, I've just come back. I'm now approaching, I'm now on the second viaduct and I'm going to just pan round and that is the first viaduct that, you saw, that I took the photographs on just a bit earlier. Uh, you can see it's quite a thriving uh, little place at this. There wasn't many shops, there wasn't much uh, going on really, but very picturesque little place. So yeah, we'll move on a little bit further down the coast and uh, see what we find next. Did I, I'm supposed to be cracking on to go and get some uh, tyres from Alford's in uh, Inverness that have me here by the beginning of the week. And I'm here on Saturday, I was gonna do a 26 miler today, I was well on course. And then you just come across this, you know, and then it all just kind of goes for pop. And you just think, oh, just enjoy it. Stop the racing around. We'll get there. The tyres can wait. It's about speaking to people. It's about convincing them that, uh, you know, to uh, get out and have a go at these things. It's about them kids. I'm getting a few uh, bob for them. It's not about no race. I can wait for another day. We were going to do a 26 miler. I was well on course, even with all this weight on. Oh. Just got talking to people again and just every corner, just another beautiful scenery. What can you do? What can you do? You've just got to get taken in by the scenery and enjoy the moment. <laughs> 